fishing all you hookaholics out there so uh i kind of messed up uh, i did a video on one of my boxes one of the retail boxes uh, i believe it was box 180 something and uh, unfortunately i erased that video before editing and posting it so what we're going to do today is we're going to do box 110 as an opening as well as take care of two other important pieces of business so we're going to pick our, well, we picked our winner for our birthday version of the seven days of giveaways. And today we're going to randomly select another box, one of the remaining boxes, and whoever gets, ooh, thunder and lightning. And uh, we're going to select a random box, and then we're going to use this video in the comments below to generate the winner for that box. So, so far, on my birthday edition, July the 8th, uh, I did a little reveal of what's in box number one, and uh, I added a few more things in here, which I'm not going to share. So uh, we picked a random, I had a random comment picker um, pick out, and the winner is, drum roll, J.R. Cambo with the comment, happy B-Day, bro. Uh, mine's coming up on the 12th. Love your videos, man. So uh, J.R. Cambo, you're the winning comment there. Um... Contact me. I'm going to link that comment. I'm going to pin it in the top uh, and, and obviously respond that congratulations. And contact me at foulmouthfisherman at gmail.com. Well, description's right here. And uh, give me your shipping ad information so I can wrap up, pack up, and ship this box out. For the rest of you, we'll hold on. We'll do this quick unboxing. And at the end, we're going to spin the wheel and see what of the remaining six boxes uh, will be the next giveaway. And then somebody with a cool comment from this video will, uh, will win that. But for now, let's get into box 110 of our retail MTBs. So, like always, MTB, slightly smaller than the mail order size MTB boxes, as you can see, this is the mail order version. Um, the retail regular uh, green bass, box 110. So let's see what's inside, shall we? First time opening it. Uh, okay, we got our Dibbles Tips Tricks Digest. Please do not have where do... <sighs> where do anglers poop? Paper, toilet paper. That's all you get out of that. <laughs> all right, we got ourselves a cool Catch Co. sticker. Add that to the collection of stickers to give away. Now, with these, all right, we got a sticker on this one at the bottom. They give you a what's in the box list, but they don't give you an assessed value of each item. And this is a smaller box, so we should get through this pretty darn quick. We've got five items, starting with Guggen Squad's Banger. So we've got the Guggen Squad's, their square bill, 2.5 foot diving. Two and a quarter ounce, uh, two and a quarter inch, three eighths of an ounce, banger, square bill. Um, nice color. What's the color on this one? Oh, what did I say? This is the bottom. Ghost gill, ghost gill. So you have this translucent blue gill pattern, a little chartreuse on the tail there, but it is almost completely see through. Got a little yellow amber chartreuse hint under the chin, and that nice dark uh, kind of root beer color with a little hue of blue. Right off the eye line and those Guggen eyes. They always sell. That's cool. So, square bills always catch fish. Um, I have a few items that I recently ordered and just got shipped to me. And I got them sitting over there uh, next to be recorded. Um, and uh, I've decided to redo a lot of my organization from the standard Plano soft things. I've got a whole new set from Busby. So, uh... We're going to see a little bit about that. I'm not doing like a box opening. We already did. You saw my Busby 
uh, the, the original Colony 21. Um, I will link a card up here uh, for my Colony 21 reveal video when I first got my first set of Busbees. This time around, Busbees come out with a deeper box. So the original Colonies were about yay deep. These are now uh, almost twice as deep. So they're going to add a lot more um, vertical space for things like your jerk baits, your lipless cranks, your crank baits, etc. Larger, bulkier uh, hard baits, so that they're not getting pinched and kind of compressed in those lids. So there you go. And as always, they still watertight, uh, the seal all the way around, and they float, which is awesome. Next up, from Game Changer, which is a Kesco brand, we have a Game Changer's Trash Master jig. This one's the three eighths ounce in blue craw, which is cool. And as with most, if not all, Catchco stuff, along with this comes a supporting soft plastic from Biospawn. We have the Exopod, and this is in Okeechobee Crawl. So you got the Exopods, which are their like little finesse kind of paddle, uh, worm, grub kind of things. And this is in that nice, uh, you know, blue flake with, or high concentrate blue flake with that green pumpkin back. And that would go absolutely phenomenal as a trailer to this Trash Master jig. So right there with, uh, you know, all things Catchco, they give you the hardware and the soft plastic trailer to go with it. That's cool. Two to go. We have Somatis baits, another set of the Somatis. Um, these are the Swim Mattis. They're little paddle tails. Little kind of micro paddle tail baits, not for human consumption. These are in green pumpkin. Although it doesn't say green pumpkin, so I'm going to say they're in golden craw. <laughs> so golden craw, swim mattis, swim mattis from some mattis. And finally, again, to go with those, we've got a set of offset worm hooks by Stickies in 3 aught. So you can use these to swim the baits. So you've got your soft plastic paddle tail with a 3 aught hook to go with it. You've got your Trash Master Jig Head, 3 8 ounce with the Exopods to go with it. And of course, you've got your crankbait. And with that, again, the, the Trash Master gets you through slop for punching, also gets you in around cover and gets you down on the bottom. That's your bottom uh, water depth. You've got the two foot crankbait, the square bill crankbait as your top water column. And that mid water column, you've got those swim baits to work like a fluke. Again, you know, representing all the stages of the water column and all the seasons, that's pretty good. Especially when you go with the crawl patterns, more like a uh, bluegill pattern, as well as a crawl representation. So, that's cool. So, that was nice. Real quick and easy. Um, let's pull this up here. So, we have, as I said, we have six more, um, six more boxes to choose from. And we're going to give this, let's give this a nice little spin. And the winner is box numero two. All right. So box two. So the next person, you're going to win whatever is in box two. I'm not going to say what's in it. It's a lot of good stuff. I will say that much, if I recall. I don't know been so long since I packed them but chances are you got a good deal so if you're willing to risk it you spun the wheel box number two is the next one to be given away and we're going to eliminate that from our list bye bye box two the remaining five boxes will stay on the wheel and uh, just as always like be subscribed share this video share my content with your friends and family and as always, I appreciate you all spending a little time with me watching my videos. Comment down below. What do you think about the, uh, the quick little 110 box um, from, from the retail section? Um, give a little congratulatory content comment to, uh, to our good friend JR down there for winning the box number one. It's kind of scary that it's box number two now. Maybe next time it'll be box number six or five or something out of the out of the equation. We don't want to go one, two, three, four, five. Although everything in them is sporadic anyway, but it's kind of nice to get them out of order. Uh, with all that said, thank you again for spending a little time with me. As always, for me to you, I appreciate you spending the time, and I will catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics. Congratulations again.